That's right, 357. That's the number of patients hospitalized because of COVID in Premier Kettering and Dayton Children's. And doctors say 73 of those are in ICU. Doctors say frontline workers are already stressed, and with the flu season coming up, they fear it could get worse. COVID-related hospitalizations holding steady in hospitals in Cincinnati's northern suburbs and the Miami Valley. Health officials say they're at very high levels. The patients that we're seeing inside the walls of our hospitals right now are younger, sicker, and are having longer lengths of stay than what we've previously seen with other variants. Taking its toll on frontline caregivers who are treating the patients. Doctors fear flu season will only add to the stress. At Kettering Health and across the region, we are preparing and trying to get the word out that this year could be a very, very severe year for influenza. For several reasons, Dr. Jeff Weinstein says people aren't wearing masks and social distancing like they did last year. Also, when you combine the flu with COVID, that could be a double whammy for our communities. We know from the early months of the COVID pandemic that patients can have both influenza and COVID-19 infections simultaneously. And that's going to be uh, additive in terms of the uh, severity of illness. There is also concern the flu vaccine may not be too accurate this year. Because there was almost no influenza last year, and we've had very little influenza across Asia and Australia this past summer, it's very hard for the scientists to predict which uh, antigens should go into the vaccine. Still, hospital leaders say the flu vaccine will be partially effective, so it's still important to get that shot. Well, getting back to hospital workers and hospital workers feeling overwhelmed, I did ask of health officials today if the COVID vaccination mandates are contributing to that and if they had any numbers as to how many healthcare workers left because of the mandates, but both Kettering and Premier said they didn't have numbers. They said their deadline isn't until December 1st, and they also added that they are allowing antibodies as an exception. Not all health networks are allowing that. Reporting live tonight in Middletown, Karen Johnson. WLWT News 5.